Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet and welcome back to our playthrough of XCOM 2, our Commander playthrough. Uh, we're ready to go onto a guerrilla mission, a guerrilla operation called Operation Doom Mask, in which we'll need to recover an item from the Advent Facility. And since it's an easy mission, we're gonna go with a few squaddies. So we're gonna go with Gerald, uh, Vinny, and then Christoph and Ulrich Vrijer Edel. Uh, four of those are squaddies and then of course Benito our sergeant technician well specialist of course uh, So here we go launch Hopefully we get some promotions uh, from this mission so that we get uh, especially Christoph as his, uh, his Ranger class will be uh, important later on especially uh, since the Ranger can uh, improve the concealment ability. So here we go Dr. Tigan has been tracking the movements of an advent data vault carrying information critical to the aliens' latest project, and he's finally managed to trace it to one of their facilities in this area. Tigan thinks we can recover the contents, assuming we can eliminate any hostile forces protecting this thing. Move in and secure the area. Leave no aliens standing. So, uh, neutralize all enemy targets and uh, get that viral diffusion summary from the advent facility. Uh, as you might have noticed in the uh, character screen uh, a few seconds ago, I also gave the medkit to Benito, since uh, Humongous, our uh, designated healer, is out of commission for a few uh, days, well, 20 days, uh, actually. So, here we go. So, it looks like a pretty urban environment. That might help us out in getting some kills on Christoph with his shotgun. Got a bead on the Advent data vault near your position. Be advised, self-detonating charges are in place at the target. Move to disarm and extract the package before its contents are destroyed. So we have a timer since the uh, container we need to recover is rigged to blow. But uh, right now we're still in concealment, so let's move everybody up as fast as we can, as long as we don't encounter any enemies. Uh, since we did the retaliation mission previously, there is a chance Ready. that we actually might encounter a new enemy type. Uh, but I'm not hoping not, because more, well, more advanced enemy types means bigger health bars. And we haven't uh, gotten to upgrading our weaponry yet. So let's move everybody up, uh, just so we can get closer. How should I do this? I think I'm going to just dash... Ulrich uh, closer, immediately we have uh, mm. Vinny on, well not on overwatch, but he has a sniper shot if it needs to be there on the next turn, because we do have a large patch of open ground here we need to cross, so I think, yeah, I'm just going to move everybody up, slowly but surely, to that location. Uh, nobody is encountering anything, which is, well, right now it's a I'm good thing. Move. So there we go, everybody moved up. Um, yeah, and you know what, Benny, you can stay right over there. Oh! Oh, that is interesting. That is very interesting. So there we have a new enemy type. That was a new enemy type. Hmm. How am I going to do this? The guy on the left is a Lancer, I think he's called uh, and those guys don't actually have a gun I think or do they yeah they do have a gun never mind they have a gun but they also have a stun baton and they will try to use that uh, and it kind of works the same way as the sword works um, how are we gonna do this do you Vinny do you have a shot no you don't of course you don't um, so let's put you over you here go. to get you a better shot there we go so now you would be able to shoot if you had your sniper rifle but since we're not in a rush to get discovered, I'm going to put everybody in a better position. In full cover, preferably. There we go. So now we have the Lancer and the uh, Sectoid in view. Let's move Kristoff with the shotgun up closer as well. Don't want to trigger anything else. Don't want to... Yeah. Let's just move him over here. Then let's put the grenadiers in the back. So it's not that bad that they're a bit further away because they can uh, lob grenades from over here. So, and with that done, let's put everybody on Overwatch and hope they uh, see either Christoph or Benito so we get our Overwatch shots. Hopefully. 
I think they should. They're moving forwards in our direction. If they don't see us, they, they're fucking blind. Don't you? Don't you? Seriously? Are you kidding me? Okay then, never mind. Um. Well, what's the shot on the sniper rifle? Ooh. Actually pretty good, but... I think Ulrich, would you do the honors of uh, lobbing a grenade in between those guys? I'm gonna try and remove a bit of cover over there as well. Best the ones, the full cover over here would be ideal, so they don't have any full cover to hide behind. So, blow them up. Yes, it's for you, there we go. In his lovely German. Bam! Ah, oh, three damage each. That could be better, but it's everything we got. Okay, where are you guys going to? So now we've sp we're spotted. There we have the Stun Lancer, hopefully not attacking immediately. At first, Advent deployed non-lethal stun units for crowd control on the occasional Okay. Protest. We don't see a whole lot of that anymore. So that's interesting. So the Stun Lancer actually gave me a nice shot with a sniper rifle. Hmm, I could actually try to take out the Sectoid as well, because we have a few flank shots on the Lancer. So yeah, let's try the 50-50 shot on the Sectoid. Ooh, over its head. Never mind. Never mind. Would have been a nice uh, would have been a nice surprise, but never mind. Um what else do we have? Could put Benito close. Let's put him over who I don't want to trigger anything else though. That would be bad, but just gonna have to try this. I think I heard Max as well. Ooh, yeah. This is Avenger. We have positive confirmation of the target package. We have a trooper and an officer up there as well. Do they see me? They don't. Okay. Ooh, I was scared of that for a second. Um, okay, so we have that. And we could use the sword to try and take out. I think the sword actually could do five damage. So we could go to the sectoid and leave him in full cover over here. Is an option, is an option. Um, we're not, not going to do that just yet. So since you're here, we need to try your flank shot. Oh, critical in the face. So the Lancer is down. Hopefully that doesn't trigger anything else. It shouldn't. Yeah, okay. Uh, now I'm going to just try and get a bit closer with Geralt. Oh, and he dropped loot as well. How are the shots? 28%. That was to be expected. But Kristoff actually has a grenade left as well. Hmm, so I'm first going to put him here so we get the loot immediately. There we go. Thank you. A uh, stock and an advent data pad. Not bad, not bad. Could be worse. Uh, let's see, what is your shot? 44% with a shotgun. Could be better. Could go for the guaranteed kill, but... Yeah, I think I'm gonna risk it. Just gonna risk it for the kill. Oh, that's... That's too bad. That's actually... Not so great. Um, what do we have left? So we only have Geralt left. So I think I'm gonna use the flashbang. Yeah, I'm just gonna use the flashbang. And hope he, uh... He's probably going to use one of his abilities. But even that will have uh, less of an effect. Because of the flashbang, so disoriented. And let's hope for the best. Hopefully those two troopers on the roof don't come uh, down. Because I think I can already open the crate from over here with Benito's uh, drone. What's he going to do? Ooh. Oh wow, he actually hit there. Well, that's not that big of an issue. Uh, I'm gonna use the shotgun effectively this time, so let's put you over here. So even now. despite the disorientation, he still managed to hit Benito over there. 100%! I really like those odds. In the face! Nine damage, that's probably a new record. For a Locked single damage. Line. Okay, that's good. So now we need to take care of... Can I actually... I think I can. Can I hack that? Yeah, okay. I can hack it from here. Which is really, really good. Because I'm just gonna heal from over here. 
There we go. Let's heal uh, Benito up. He has seven health, which, which is actually a lot for a simple technician. Uh, technician. A simple specialist, I mean, because his nickname is a technician, not the... Yeah. Class. They're over there on the roof. They're over here on the roof somewhere, because we saw that when we saw the chest. Uh, so it shouldn't be bad to put okay. anybody over here. Yeah, no, that's not a problem. Let's put Geralt a bit closer as well. I think if they're still on the roof, I can actually... Ooh. I can actually see a health bar over here. There's one of the troop. Is that an advanced trooper? Because that doesn't look like the red of an officer. Oh, no, he has the cape. Never mind, he's an officer. Uh, so, yeah. Vinny, you can stay on Overwatch with your sniper rifle over there. Got there it we go. Uh, what else do we have? Yeah, let's have everything we need everybody else on overwatch because we have five turns but we can immediately hack it if we want to um so let's put we're just gonna come closer with everybody else we do have the time so if we encounter anything else on the way we might deal with that as it comes Ooh, that that doesn't trigger them either okay so then i'm first gonna try and put we need to in the full cover over here that doesn't... Oh, they probably dropped down. Both of them dropped down uh, from the building, probably. Moving to designated position. Um, am I going to put you in a better position? I don't think there is a better position. So, yeah. Just, just to keep over there. Uh, yeah, let's move Christoph up as I'm well. There should be another batch of enemies as well. But now that we're still in full cover, let's just... Wait it out. Menace one five. The clock is ticking. That detonator isn't going to wait. Get to the vault and disarm it before we run out of time. Yeah, I don't think that will be a problem because even from here I can still hack it. So let's just do that now. Let's check it out. Because you never, you can never fail a hack on an objective. So let's check out what the benefits are. Uh, so we can recover a mission lead on an alien facility for 27%. Oh, that's weird. So the the other effect, normally the left side effect is harder, uh, is easier to get than the right side effect. Now it's the other way around. So delays the current dark event projects by two weeks. Uh, since we have the UFO on there, I really want to delay that by two weeks. So let's go for that. Ooh, yeah. oh, barely. Not even... Ooh, that was really close. I think that was at 40% at, uh, there. Too bad, too bad. Because I don't think there are any uh, poles. Oh, there are poles that we can hack. So now we have reinforcements on the way. Uh, which is actually not that bad, because we're right here. So if they drop down, I'm just going to take them out. So let's put Geralt right in their face, actually. Let's put Kristoff over here as well. Just put him on the corner here, or maybe here, but that's... I don't want to trigger anything that's over there, so let's just put him uh, over here so he can immediately run closer if he needs to. Vryer, my man, Vryer. Let's put you over here. Oh, what? Oh, are you seriously? Oh. There were... Everybody passed that spot. Ooh, this is bad. This is pretty bad. Can I... Ooh. So they can't... The only guy they can see is Benito, which is kind of sad. Ooh. Oh. Ne ne never mind, never mind, never mind, I, I, I asked. So let's put... I'm gonna have to pull him back as well, because those guys are gonna come knocking on our doors uh, really, really quickly. So let's just pull back with Benito so he's out of sight. Friar is in a bit of a pickle here. I know there's one on the roof, so I might actually want to try getting a grenade up there if I can reach. Can't I? Can't I get it up there? Oh, come on! Like a glove. It's in between there somewhere. Just on the railing. There we go. Yeah, I mean, take that. He's gonna fall down, probably, and die immediately. 
Yeah, there we go. Have a nice turn. We already got the trophy, so he's gonna die from the fall damage. Um, a floor gone and an extra one damage from dropping down a floor. Ooh, three damage actually. Okay, so I'm gonna put everybody else on Overwatch because we still have that transport incoming as well. Um, yeah, I don't think we have much choice here. So, Overwatch on everybody. And there we have the transport. What's it gonna be? That looks like three guys. That looks two troopers and an officer. Oh god. So now we have four enemies on the map. That know where we are. And two of them are officers. I don't think they get a, sh a turn to shoot on this. Yeah, okay, there we go. Shot got him in the face. Oh, six damage. That just doesn't kill him. I think he's he has one health left. And that misses. That's too bad. Do we have another overwatch shot? No, we don't. What happened to my sniper overwatch shot? Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Okay, he, he survived that, which is really, really lucky. He has one health left. Okay, okay. Um, okay. Let's see what we have available to us. So this trooper is most likely dead. I could just shotgun him from uh, behind his back. Uh, same with that guy over there, actually. So might have to check which one I need to take out first. So nobody went on Overwatch, if I remember correctly. And we have a few sniper shots as well. So 87 on that one trooper. So that's the one we're gonna take, uh, of course. So there we go. 87% shoot hit. Ooh, good guy, sir. So that's one down. Three more to go. Can we put that grenade right in between those guys? I'm gonna move him first because his spot is terrible over there. So let's put him on full cover over here. Get the grenades out and... Ooh, yes. Ooh, you guys. Hopefully he gets both of them. Because that would make our life incredibly... Well, a lot easier. So that takes care of the officer. Ooh, that's too bad. That's really too bad. There we go. Promotion for Geralt. So now we have the shotgunner that could immediately take out the trooper over there. Vyra we're going to have to take to safety because he's going to die otherwise. Uh, so I'm going to just pull him back to the other side of the map, preferably. Uh, and the other thing I want to check is we still have a security pole over here. So let's check out what the bonuses are over here. Because that doesn't take a turn as long as we don't try to hack it. There we go. 51% of the soldier gaining concealment. And 35% chance to give the squad concealment. Huh, interesting. I'm gonna cancel for now. Because the negative effect is a 50-50 for uh, getting reinforcement called in. Which we don't really want to have at this moment. Don't want to risk you getting shot. What are your chances right here? 50%. I could take the risk and get him closer. Uh, and then finish him off with the combat protocol of Benito if needs be. Uh, so let's see. I'm just going to put... If I put you over here, he's still going to have... Um, have cover, cover probably from that perspective but let's try it anyway Good copy. Moving on target. there we go is that a flank shot it is not 88 percent that's actually bad but i can use a grenade still but what i could do actually i could use the grenade on the officer as well so let's try this. I'm gonna put Fryer closer, preferably in this full cover here. That should improve his hit chances to 56%. That is terrible. But let's go for it. Oh, that actually hit him. I think, yeah, that should be enough. 
So that's three damage left, so the grenade should kill him. Uh, so next up, what we're gonna try is just put Benito right next to this. Oh, wait. Yeah, I don't even need to. So let's use the grenade. We're, we're gonna go for the sure thing. So let's use the grenade on the officer and finish him off that way. There we go. Killed off camera, and then, now we have four damage. Great. And then we have combat protocol. That has come in handy so often. So that's guaranteed damage. So uh, that's the game, I suppose. Shock him to death. There we go. Goodbye, trooper. And that's it. Is that it? Oh, shitballs. There's still enemies on the map. Um, are they over here then, behind the building? Oh, crap. Um... Yeah, let's keep everybody tightly <laughs> together. I'm extremely lucky that Briar didn't set them off then from here. Uh, I'm just going to pull everybody closer again and just because we're not on a timer anymore. So let's reload the guys that need to reload. Let's, yeah, even Briar, let's reload you as well. Uh, especially you, Vinny. Alles im grünen Bereich. You, need to, you don't really need to reload, and let's put everybody on Overwatch. Uh, you know what? Come a bit closer, actually. Although the higher position is actually all, always better, so let's just put you on Pistol Overwatch. Not that that does anything. Okay, so now that we have full turns back, uh, let's try and scout this out a bit, but really, really slowly now that we have the time. Good copy. Moving on target. Oh, and there we go. Okay, I moved Gerald up, and there we have a sectoid. And a single trooper. Okay. Okay, we're out of grenades, though, so that's bad. I can actually shoot at the trooper from here. Well, it's 25%, it's but why not, eh? Why not, eh? Oh, yeah, that was right past, past his ass. That was... Yeah. Fail to connect. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Uh, you can actually shoot at the sectoid, but that's that would be bad, I think. So let's pull you back a bit in a minute. Just gonna have to see, cause that trooper is that reachable from here. Um, fifty-five percent on the trooper. Oh, but you know what? I think if I put you. Benito, right over here, you might actually have a flank shot now. Oh, yes he does. Yes, he does. So let's go for the critical. Uh, four damage, not bad, not bad. So that's half his health gone already. Uh, Vryer, I really wanna, don't want to take any chances with you. 29% is way too low to do anything for, so I could actually use the sword attack to go here, but that's too risky at the moment. That's 41 on the trooper. That's not not good. Not not really good. Not really good. Um, let's pull you back a bit behind this wall. Now I have shots on both of them. Actually, 41%. I might actually try that. Oh, snap in the face! That was really nice. Okay. So now we only have a, a half sectoid to deal with. Not gonna take the risk with Geralt. So we only have these two guys left. So let's pull Geralt back over here. And then let's try an Overwatch shot. If he moves, we have a shot. And he's moving. He's moving. But apparently that's not triggering the Overwatch shot. Is he gonna shoot? No. Okay, he's gonna try and mind control probably. Oh, and he actually succeeded as well. Uh, but luckily he doesn't get a turn right now, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna, well, Christoph might do his name justice right now. I'm gonna use the sword. Not, not many, no, not, not Don Benito. Not many applications for the sword, but this might be one of those days. Uh, so let's be careful and not do it on our own, our own soldiers over there. Yeah, run across the entire map and slash this thing in the face. So six to eight that why is it so high? Why the hell is this so high? 
I have no idea what this is. It should be three to five, but uh, well, I'm not. I'm not complaining. If that actually, if that is actually the case, go for it. Eight damage. Why the hell was that? If anybody in the comments can tell me that, why was that eight damage? Got him. Okay then. That's that's it, I suppose. So mind control Status lost. Confirmed. Yes. Are down and the area, is secure. area secured. There we Status go. That confirmed. was nine Mission enemies. Yeah. Two wounded soldiers. Two wounded soldiers. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, because Benito got got shot in the beginning, but we healed that. That was nice. Really nicely done, guys. So, uh, Kristoff dealt most damage with a shotgun. And made most attacks as well. Benito got on the fire the most. And Christophe the runner of course also moved the furthest. Uh, we didn't actually make uh, a new record with the average damage per attack. So I think that yielded a few promotions. So that's gonna be very very nice. Let's see. So three promotions. We... Ooh. So Benito is wounded for 7 days and uh, Vryer is wounded for 17 days. So we're going to have to uh, make do with one less Grenadier for the next few missions. But uh, both of our Grenadiers got a promotion. So let's see, this is getting interesting. So we can choose between Blast Padding. Your gear includes layers of extra padding and blast plates, granting a bonus point of armor and 66% less damage from explosive attacks. Armor is actually, if you look on the right there, armor is a separate stat and actually uh, reduces da the damage you take by that amount of armor. So if you uh, would take three points of damage, you would only take uh, two if you had one point of armor. So it's reduced. And Shredder, your cannon attacks shred armor. We're not encountering armor on enemies just yet, but that's gonna come in uh, really, really handy in the future. Uh, but I think just uh, for this, uh, for Geralt, I'm gonna go for blast padding to give him a bit more armor. There we go, six health and then one point of armor. There we go. And then of course for uh, Vryer we're gonna do the opposite. I'm gonna go with Shredder for uh, him. Why does he have, oh yeah, because he, he got shot. Never mind. Shredder, there we go. And then uh, the Ranger, our Ranger Kristoff got a promotion as well. So now we get into the, the very interesting uh, perks of the Ranger. So, uh, Phantom, when the squad is revealed, this soldier remains concealed. Very, very handy indeed. Um, so that's uh, turning Kristoff uh, actually into a scout, so we can use him to scout out uh, enemies without actually losing concealment. Um, then we have Blade Master, all swords attacks deal two extra damage and have plus 10 aim. For, for, for some reason, because Slash want to check this out. Oh, it doesn't show here, but I think Slash only does 3 to 5 damage and not 6 to 8. Really don't know how that uh, gained that much uh, of a damage boost, but I'm not going to go with Blade Master just yet. I do want to have a scout, so uh, Phantom it is. There we go. And that's it. Uh, sadly, Vinny didn't get a promotion, so he's still our uh, squaddy sniper. There we go. And now we got a uh, scope. Here, oh, did we get... Oh, the last enemy probably dropped. That last sector probably dropped a few things as well. So we got a scope, hair trigger, stock, and the advent data pad from the first loot drop. And then the corpses of everything we killed again. There we go. And then the advent stun lancer autopsy. The advent stun lancer is commonly seen maintaining order and quelling disturbances throughout the world. Their unique stun lance could be adapted into a weapon our ranger, rangers are already training to use. So uh, we could actually make one of those uh, stun batons Hello, ourselves. Commander. There we go. Uh, 89 intel, successful mission completed and we uh, reduced, uh, well we actually countered the dark event of those advent midnight raids. Sadly not the UFO. Uh, ooh, and Ulrich is actually shaken as well from the damage he took. Uh, so we're gonna have to fix that in the next mission he can uh, join. But now, uh, let's see. We're still a ways off from uh, building the power relay and then clearing the debris to put the uh, your old man would be what's proud it called the proving ground to do here. What uh, you've managed to do with this ship? I just wish he had lived long enough to see us fight back, to know that it wasn't all for nothing. Trust me, he knows. If there was one thing your father always kept in mind, it was his faith in humanity. He knew we could win on our own terms. 
So we didn't really get anything new from that. I'm gonna do the... Well, you know what? I'm actually gonna check out our soldiers really quickly. Uh, so let's... We got another scope. So let's put the scope, as always, on our other sharpshooter. So Vinny, let's check you out. Uh, let's go for the weapon upgrades and put a scope on the sniper rifle. Uh, there we go. Uh, later on, we're gonna have uh, extra slots, so we're gonna be able to uh, put multiple mods on uh, a single weapon. I think we also got a hair trigger, and hair triggers are really, really good for um, shotguns, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, so, no, no, I'm mistaken, actually. So let's check. No, hair triggers are bonus action chance, yeah, not really something I want to want to swap out uh we did get the stock and the stock is actually really good on sniper rifles as well uh but let's put that on Geralt's uh weapon right now so the stock just adds an extra oh yeah so missed sh shots still deal one damage to the target so that's really good for grenadiers since their aim is a bit lower but if you uh, attempt the shot you will still do a guaranteed one bit of damage and that could really help us out in a pinch so there we go, stock applied to Geralt's minigun. Thank you very much. That's all the uh, all the weapon upgrades we're going to apply. And then we're going to head back to the bridge and get our supplies, I think. Because we didn't fully uh, research our uh, supply drop. There we go. Oh, and we could go for another uh, check for uh, more rookies. But first, let's go back to our supply drop. We still have a third of a day left to scan there. Course. Because we could use a bit more supplies. We're really good on intel. That's not a problem at all. But there we go. The last bit of supplies. And let's ignore that. And let's not to fly back to the... Uh, we have gathered additional resources and staff at Resistance Headquarters for your use. Well, actually, I might actually check this out. So this is something I wanted to show previously. But uh, every time you get your supply drop, the stuff you can do at the resistance actually changes. So let's Welcome check that out. out. So we can, uh, for a, a, a bit of an, uh, a fee, so 25 supplies, we can add an effect to gaining the intel on, the, on our base. Uh, not that we do that so much, but we can either go for medical assistance, which would uh, improve our healing rate, or rapid construction, which would uh, increase the uh, speed at which uh, uh, rooms are constructed. I'm not going to do that just yet, but uh, we're going to continue making contact with West Asia. That's uh, something we really, really Sunny need to start doing. Expanding border. our network. Because if we had done that before the guerrilla operations, we would have been able to uh, block the uh, UFO. God through. damn it. We have another message. But a very important one. would seem your recent activities have gotten Advent's attention. Our unwelcome guests are on the move. Advent has been diverting considerable resources and personnel to covert facilities across the globe. The exact details of these operations are highly classified. However, they do have one thing in common. A single word that appears in all their files. Avatar. I believe the black site we had previously uncovered to be but a part of this Avatar project. Based on what we have uncovered so far, its true scope is far greater. This project is being directed from the very top of Advent, from a source I am still unable to determine. All attempts to uncover its identity have met with failure. It is time to take a more direct approach. Though we may not know the exact nature of this Avatar project, we can still disrupt it. We must root out these hidden facilities with the help of local resistance cells, disrupt our enemy's operations, and in the process, uncover the truth. Locate the source of this Avatar project, and then destroy it. Were the enemy to succeed in their efforts, I am certain it would mean the end for us all. I am confident you will take whatever measures necessary to eliminate this threat, Commander. We're tracking the aliens' progress on this Avatar project here. If they finish what they've started, it sounds like it'll be the end for all of us. So there we go, the Avatar project, the end goal of the Advent Coalition. 
The completion of the Avatar project is the alien's ultimate goal, Commander. We must stop the project before it's too late. This is our eventual goal. We need to stop the Avatar project. But the location is unknown, so we need to work towards uh, actually locating the site of the Avatar project. It's located in the middle of the ocean right now on the map, but that's just for show, because we don't really know where it is exactly. And there we have the dreaded Avatar Project timer. So if that timer uh, goes completely full, so if those red squares uh, reach the right side of the bar, uh, we get a final timer. It's not game over immediately. We get a final timer of about a month. I think it's 28 days we get to uh, reduce the Avatar Project uh, events before the, uh, the project is completed. And if that reaches the end before we do anything about it, will uh, be uh, game over completely so that will be the end of the series if that happens but we're gonna try our best to not let it happen of course uh, the dark events are also kind of tied into that so we still want to stop that ufo because that's gonna be a bitch if that happens uh but let's hope that doesn't come to that we can stop the avatar project by uh, getting those uh, facilities so these advent black sites we can destroy those and that will reduce the Avatar project along with some other select missions that will uh, have the same effect uh, without spoiling too much, of course. But let's continue making contact with West Asia. Three days, two days. Okay, and that's uh, alien debris cleared, so that's good. And now we can actually hmm, build the Proving Ground or the Advanced Warfare Center because the Advanced Warfare Center is uh, interesting as well. Um. Because the Proving Grounds is good for the, the storyline. We, we, we need that first and foremost for the storyline. But the Advanced Warfare Center actually improves the rate at which the, uh, our soldiers recover. So that's... I think that's a bit of a, a priority now. Commander, we've pushed our there we go. Power systems to the limit. We don't have any capacity to spare. Which means we can't expand our facilities further. So there we go, building the Advanced Warfare Center, and in two days the power relay should be completed as well. Um, I don't think we have another... Do we have another engineer? more help on the engineering team before I can start clearing out some of these other rooms. Yeah, there we go. We should recruit an engineer. There we go, so we don't have enough engineers to start building down further. Uh, which isn't too bad, because I think we'll, we're going uh, pretty nicely over here, so Guerrilla Tactics School. Advanced Warfare Center and the Power Relay in a minute. But let's continue scanning. Uh, so making contact, there we go. Let's just put that further. Training completed. So Jazz Gypsy has completed his training as a Ranger. Um, should we put another one in? We could. We do have a few more rookies left. Uh, we could always go with another Grenadier. So let's put Cecil Harambe. I think that's really fitting to be a Grenadier. So there we go. Thank you very much. Let's get back to the, the bridge. And continue hopefully finishing the making contact. Power God damn it. So that's the operational. power relay. So now we gain uh, three more power. Which is uh, very nice of course. Because that will allow us to build something else. I think. So we could upgrade that as well. I think upgrading it costs supplies and power. Uh, no, it costs supplies but we gain power. And we could, uh, well, position an engineer here to increase the power even more. But we're not going to do that just yet. A three extra power is good to have right now. But now we're going to actually clear out another room. Well, this one gives the most supplies. So let's put uh, Maria Kuznetsova in this one. Excavate. So that's gonna take 20 days because we only put one engineer in there if we, if we get another one we can uh, boost that a bit uh, faster so we could uh, half that time so we only need 10 days but we don't have an engineer yet well a spare engineer yet so uh, let's finish the contact there we go so showing us a, uh, a little bit, little bit of a cinematic to uh, just uh, our officer making contact with that local resistance cell. And that's it. So that's just it. New but that, of added. course, so now we can uh, do the Advent Blackside mission. I'm gonna wait with that until we're. Uh, contact with the local resistance and we're ready to move on the alien Blackside on your order. Advent's been keeping this facility a closely guarded secret. 
We should make sure our troops are ready for a tough fight before we send them out there. We're making progress, Commander. I've updated our objectives based on the latest findings. So as Bradford just stated, this is going to be a very, very hard mission. So we're going to wait off with that until we're uh, in a bit of bit of harder dire straits before uh, the Avatar project completes. So if we're if that bar is filled up more, so people of West Asia, Asia stand ready to help XCOM however we can. Thanks for joining the resistance, guys. And we get new income every month, uh, 44 extra supplies. There we new go. Regional contacts located. And of course, because we uh, now unlocked uh, that was Western Asia, we can now go to Eastern Europe and uh, expand our network in that direction. But I think we should focus on uh, East Asia first, because that would give us the uh, bonus, the continent bonus, if we actually make another radio tower as well, I think. I don't see the pointer for that yet, so that's probably only going to appear once we uh, make contact with East Asia. Because we could uh, get an extra bonus if we have all uh, all areas in a single continent. But um, we could go for the rookies, although I think we have plenty of rookies right now. So I think I'm going to go for the Resistance Any HQ. For the Arctic. Maybe even buy one of the bonuses to uh, speed up our recovery. Yes, open the menu, please. You're not opening the menu. Welcome. There we go. Out. So uh, let's buy medical assistance. It's going to help us out a bit. We could buy an engineer or a scientist, but those guys are really, really expensive and we don't have the supplies to spare. So let's heal faster. Just uh, do it like that. Commander, we just got word that the resistance hit an advent supply line. We have an opportunity to salvage some high-value materials, assuming we can clear out the alien forces guarding the site first. So, supply rates are another type of mission where we uh, can actually... Uh, so the Resistance has hit a, a convoy, a supply convoy of uh, Advent, and we can uh, try to get those supplies for ourselves. But of course we need to be careful not to destroy those, and they are usually guarded by a lot of troops. But, let's view the raid location. There we go. Advent is moving valuable alien technology across the new Arctic. Operation Fire Mother. I do love those operation names. So let's see who we're gonna take on this mission because we actually have a bit of a troop problem, I think. Let's see. We could actually use the double snipers on this one and go with what the game suggests. Uh, so the shotgunner will be really nicely. Christoph will be able to help us really nicely. Ooh, do we have a high of enough of a soldier to increase the squad size more? Probably not yet, but... So this is probably the squad we're gonna take with us. Because uh, it's moderate difficulty. I don't want to take a rookie on this kind of mission. A squaddy, I should say. Uh, so we're gonna go with this team. Um, I'm doubting whether I should... I'll see that in the next episode, whether I'm going to remove the flashbang, give Geralt two grenades, because that might come in handy. Uh, but that, with that said, I'm going to take a little break, so next time we're going to raid an advanced troop transport. But uh, before that, uh, I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next episode or series. Goodbye!